Joseph Cotrimonton is a criminal defence lawyer in Fleet Street in London. Uh, first of all, what do you think of a trial that goes on for 20 months, Joseph? Well, good evening. Good evening. Ian. Uh, well, for, first of all, this is a very unusual case. Uh, it's so unusual that it's probably the case that less than 100 cases last anything more than a, a couple of months. And even that, of course, is a massive imposition uh, on, a, on, a, on a jury's time. Uh, uh, obviously, there, are, there, there were reasons particular for that, for that specific case. Uh, I don't know what they were, other than to say that it's unusual. I should say this, however, although these cases as far as the jury's involvement are concerned, although these cases may seem, well, you know, if this stuff is so dry, if it's so financial, if it's so based in uh, based in the specifics of a, of a technical industry or whatever, why on earth are juries dealing with it? Well, actually, the questions as far as the criminal guilt of the defendant is concerned, and of course, these are cases, not civil cases, they're cases where often somebody could go to prison, you know, and, and the principle, of course, is that somebody should have a right to be judged by their peers, not some not some uh, remote uh, judicial figure without perhaps the experience of the jury. But the fundamental question, bringing it back, the fundamental question that a, a jury usually has to decide, especially in cases like fraud cases, is was this person dishonest? Now, that's according to the standards that we have of people in, in, in everyday life, Ian. Mm. And, and, and juries, with their natural everyday experience of life and their common sense are just so much better capable and uh, so much more capable actually of answering those questions even in these complex cases why why is I that even than judges and, and that, that's because in all of our experience you know the more of a the more of a you know i hesitate to use the phrase normal everyday person you are the more varied experience you would have of dealing with people you deal with your colleagues at work You've, you've grown up with people in a community. You've, you've had friends from school who've done well. You've had friends who've gone off the rails. You deal, you deal with uh, your electric company. You deal with your bank. You know, var various levels of formality and all of, these, all of these different types of relationships that we accumulate over many years make us better judges of character. Hmm. And, and if you compare that with a, perhaps a more narrow uh, professional existence, and as a lawyer, perhaps I'd include myself in that. You know, I spend a lot of time dealing with lawyers and police officers. Perhaps that doesn't give, it, give me as much of a, uh, as much of a balanced so, and deep understanding if, of human nature so as your average jury. If, if there were, with all your experience, Joseph, I'm speaking to Joseph Cotrimonson, who's a criminal defence lawyer in Fleet Street, if, if you had one thing maybe you would alter about our court system. Is there anything you would change to make it better? Well, there are a lot of things that I would change. I think to start with, uh, you should start uh, statistically, most of the judges come from the prosecu prosecutorial ranks. That means most judges statistically, rather than being former defence lawyers, are former prosecution lawyers. But what does that tell you about what the state wants to do in terms of the way that it makes trials happen? But in terms of the jury experience, I think that juries, some judges are good at this, some judges aren't good at this. And when, when, when judges are good at it, it's re really beneficial to the jury. Juries should be very, really, uh, it should be, they should be treated with a lot of respect, not just that they are dealing with something that they have to deal with and therefore... Therefore, they're brought in, into court, they're brought out of court, they're not given much information about, about, uh, about how long they're going to be in the trial for, etc. Hmm. I think that so much has been done in that regard that nowadays juries, juries, generally speaking, are treated with a lot more respect and gratitude by judges. I, I think that's good, and I think we need more of that. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, Joseph Cotrimonson, who's a criminal defence lawyer,